Well, here's an interesting design for a project in Melbourne, in southern Australia. And uh, if we zoom out a little, the design is complete. And let's pan up a little to see the front entrance. We might choose to dress this up a little by going to the library, going to details, and down to vehicles. And we'll just choose uh, a, a large car and pop it in. We'll assume that these folks have a large car, pop it in and then click on it and rotate the vehicle around. It just gives a, a sense of scale and on the subject of scale, can you see here I've put a five meter scale bar and that's come from library details and scale bars. We've added quite a lot of different scale bars uh, in that particular folder. So we're set now to print and what we'd like to do is to print this on an A3 sheet at a scale of 1 to 100 and we want to also show the plant schedule on that very same sheet. So let's swing to a layout space. Here we are in that layout space. I've got two floating viewports here. I'll select the side one here and what I'm going to do, I want to display in that floating viewport, I want to display the plant schedule. So I'll highlight the viewport and double click. No, I missed it. Let me display on layout and I'll double click there. I actually want this one and let's go into this area here. And we'll just, sorry, we'll move it over to here. That was an earlier attempt at the plant schedule. I've got a later attempt at the plant schedule here, drawn with our automatic system. And what I'm trying to do, I should have zoomed in a little for you. And I need to make it a little bigger to make sure that, that wraps around it. Then display that on the layout, again to unselect it. So we now have a plant schedule in position. It's not displaying quite as nicely as I would like. So what I'm going to do is select the other floating viewport, which now over here you can see it has a view scale of a 100 and it's a fixed scale. So we can plop this out at 1 to 100. What I'm going to do now is just move that floating viewport just a little to the left. And that gives me a little more room to play with this viewport. I might be able, if I come back in it again and just narrow it down ever so slightly and display on the layout again and pick it, I should be able to just move it ever so slightly and we've nearly got it displayed on the sheet and there we are. It's a little tight but the information we want is there. So now we're in a position to print this sheet. There are two ways to produce PDF files. One would go file and save as a PDF. But what that does, or what that will do, is lose the accurate scale. So let me turn the grid off. To get an accurate scale representation, so we can label it down in the corner, scale one to, what was it? I've forgotten, one to 100, I think. Yeah, one to 100. We want to be able to print that accurately. If we just go File, Save as a PDF, that's a quick way of producing a PDF for scale, a size, sorry. It's a quick way of producing a PDF file, but the scale bar that we've got in here is internal, so we can scale off that scale bar if we need to. But if we want to be able to say on there 1 to 100, we need to go File and Print, and we're going to print the paper and we're going to change our printer from the physical printer that's attached to my computer here to a PDF writer which I've installed. Cute PDF writer is free. I need to set its correct size. It's an A3 sheet and it's in portrait view this time and we're okay. So now, zoom extents, we're in a position to print this sheet that will give us our plant schedule. As I look at it, I almost think we could fit the plant schedule in here. Certainly we could. I'll just cancel from there at the moment. 
certainly we could pick that plant schedule and probably move it in there. I'm not quite happy with how tight it is, but I could probably change the font and make the thing look a little smaller. But let's print. So file and print and we're going to print paper and we'll go OK. So that sheet will now print. It's going to prompt me for uh, the location of the print file in a moment. Here we go. And I'll call it a GK Plus drawing and I'll save it on the desktop. Sorry, the desktop. You'd give it a more intelligent name than that. And if I do that, here we are. Here's our PDF viewer. There's the PDF file that we just printed and I'm relatively happy about it even though that's just a little bit tight there. Uh, it looks good but we've got we can confidently label that one to a hundred should we desire. I do think I better go back and move the vehicle and put it on top of the paving to improve the design. So I hope that helps in Understanding that file and save to PDF gives you an approximate and quick PDF file, but for absolute accuracy, follow the procedure that we've just followed here. I did skip over one important step. Do take off fit to paper and change this to one to one. And then you'll be printing, in this case, exactly at one to a hundred.